As Gary Simmons reports, what started out as a weird ritual soon got ugly. Vancouver has a reputation as a place where strange things happen. We need brains! Brains! We need more brains! But even the locals were startled when the dead walked on Robson Street Saturday afternoon. About 160 people lurched and staggered through the downtown core for the second annual zombie walk. Everybody's acting like zombies, like totally in character, shambling, vacant eyed, kind of limping a bit. Um, we tend to, when the buses come by, we'll mob those, the tourist double-decker buses or the uh, just the regular TransLink buses. <laughs> The zombie walk involves a lot of moaning, lurching, and the eating of human flesh. And all of that can really tie up the traffic. Ferguson and other witnesses say one driver nudged his car through the crowd. He kind of lurched forward. I jumped out of the way because I didn't want to get hit. And someone else got rolled right up onto the hook. Chandra Stevenson was in that crowd. She says that's when the zombies attacked. Uh, the first thing I saw was people getting knocked to the ground because of this car. And then people got upset and started damaging it. Vancouver police say they have questioned the driver. So far, he's been given a ticket for a traffic violation. But some members of the zombie walk say that's not nearly enough for running over the walking dead. I think he should be charged because he hurt people and he drove through a crowd, which was allowed to be there. But charges are not a sure thing. Police say the driver complained zombies attacked his car first and he struck some of them while trying to get away. No one was seriously hurt and the zombies continued on to terrorize other residents on their long stumble through the West End. Gary Simmons, CBC News, Vancouver.